What the? Where did this direct come from? Oh. Hey guys, what is going on? Nars is here from RLP Gaming Projects, and everyone, where did that Nintendo Direct come from? Now, there was a demo hinted to be dropping today for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, but a whole Direct? I'm blown away. This is crazy, and guys, this Direct came in swinging, so let's review what was shown. But before we do that, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you know you feel like it. So starting off in this direct, they finally show off details of the game that was most excited for for 2020, and that is Bravely Default 2. They released a demo back in March. I played it and I loved it. I loved the job class system and this demo led to me buying the original Bravely Default that was released on 3DS in 2014, and it's amazing as well. It is one of the best light like, Final Fantasy games that I have ever played. I cannot express enough for people to go out, buy a Nintendo Switch, and get this game. Bravely Default 2 was unfortunately pushed back until February 26, 2021 when it was initially supposed to release in 2020, but it makes sense for Square Enix to do this since it has Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory releasing in November and I believe Kingdom Hearts will be their big holiday title push since it has a larger fan base. Story of Seasons Pioneers of Oliver Town, uh, Olive Town followed Bravely Default 2. It is a cool looking life simulator game where you run a farm that your grandpa used to own. It uses Japanese anime looking characters which is really cool and though it's not really my type of game being a life simulator, it does kind of have me curious though where I may try it out. A new game reveal was shown next and the game was called Surviving the Aftermath. Honestly, I wasn't too interested in this so we're just going to continue on. The popular Zelda Breath of the Wild like game from Ubisoft called Immortals Phoenix Rising ugh, hate that name, is coming to Switch December 3rd 2020 so if you're interested in that it is available now for pre-order. I mean I think it looks pretty interesting. But there are so many games right now to play that I'm just not interested in another Zelda clone, Breath of the Wild clone like game. Next, a quick reel of upcoming Nintendo Switch games were shown. I'm just going to run through these real quick because I really don't have much interest in them. But I will give you guys a quick clip of them and I will give you the release dates on them real quick. Bakugan Champions of Vestroia, it comes November 3rd, 2020. Grifflands Nintendo Switch Edition is coming in summer of 2021, and Tropico 6 is coming November 6th of 2020. A pretty big title is making its way to the Switch called Hitman 3 Cloud Edition. This is not really a game series that I have much interest in, but it is cool to see larger titles such as this making its way to the Nintendo Switch even though it's a cloud game. I prefer to get my games physically, but hey. If this is the only way we can get it, then cool beans, let's go. I'm all on board for this. Also, coming on the cloud is Control, a Game of the Year nominee from last year. It is a free, like, 30 megabyte download that is available today, so I'm definitely going to try it out. The graphics in this game look amazing, and though it's not my typical type of game, it definitely looks action-packed, and I'm going to give it a quick play to see what it's all about. The long-awaited No More Heroes series has finally got more news today. No More Heroes 3 is delayed until 2021 now, but on a positive note, No More Heroes 1 and 2 are being released on the Switch today at a fairly affordable price of 20 bucks. So I am considering getting them and trying them out, you know, if I ever get caught up on my backlog of games. Part-Time UFO, a game I really have no care for at all, it releases today. It's a game where it looks like you're flying in a UFO and you stack things in certain patterns and you know the more unique or special way you stack things the higher your score will be. Now if you're more curious about this game, check it out on Nintendo's Mini Direct Partner Showcasing for the month of October. I'll leave a link in the description for you guys below. And finally, we got some epic news for Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. We received a pretty big trailer showing off some really cool new features in the game. We get to use the Divine Beast in this new Hyrule Warriors game. I don't think I've ever been this excited for a Zelda game. 
Nintendo has masterfully given out info on this game every week, and it has built so much hype leading up to the release date. Not only did we see new features, but we also received a demo for the game today, and it, and it covers the entire first chapter in Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, and the progress can be transferred over once the game releases. All I have to say is, good job Nintendo and Koei Tecmo, very good job, I mean damn. I'm going to play the demo of Hyrule Warriors today and I'm going to try to get my first impressions on the game to you guys by the end of the day. So try and stay tuned for that, I don't know, I, I'm going to do my best to get it to you. I probably can, I feel like I can, but I might not be able to, but stay tuned. Anyways, I personally think that this was Nintendo's best partner showcasing and really their best presentation this year. They're finally, it seems like, getting their butt in the gear after a very slow start to the year. But that will conclude this video, everyone. Comment down below your thoughts on today's direct. Don't forget to subscribe, ring a ding that notification bell to stay notified on future videos. And until the next project, take it easy. I'm out.